And here's another lawsuit. And this article is Pomerantz Law Firm investigates claim on the behalf of investors of Churchill Capital Corporation. And, and, and these lawsuits are recent too. I mean, look at that, July 23rd. Yes. Yep, so, absolutely. Yeah. So these are recent articles. These are not articles from like a long time ago. But please continue, sir. So this investigation, <coughs> excuse me, this investigation uh, concerns whether Churchill and certain of its officers, directors, have engaged in securities fraud or other unlawful business practices. Uh, and here, the details of the merger also disclose that um, Lucid was projecting a production of only 557 vehicles in 2001 instead of the 6,000 it had been touting in the run-up to the merger announcement. Whoa, 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 That is a... That's, yes, that's That's, that's a red flag <laughs> and a half. That's huge. Wait a minute. So, you have a company, people are following it, people in the chat... Yes. I'm following it. My nephew's following it. A lot of us following this car company. They yes. are even advertising on television. And so before the, the, the deals close, they were projecting, they were saying they were projecting 6,000 cars that's going to be built in 2021. And they only... Yes. And then the They've, disclosures show that they only... We're pro really projecting 557. This is projecting. Yes. This is not building. So there's a discrepancy in what was projected to the investors, to the sh to the shareholders versus internally what they were really planning, which was only hundreds compared to thousands. That's crazy. So you're talking about a, you're you're talking not even one tenth of the of a of a and uh, the actual projection versus the projection that was touted um, through CCIV. Yeah, that's so. Lucid itself says they're only going to produce 557 wow. vehicles. Wow. Whereas Churchill Capital says no, we're going to you know they want to produce uh, you know over ten times the amount. Yeah, and then on some of the CNBC shows that I've been watching and for. YouTube land, you know you have to look at CNBC. Pick a show or two, DVR it, and you'll get very educated on stuff like this, and I'm sure most of you are already doing that. Um, they have been talking about how CCIV as a, um, you know, one of those companies that, the SPACs that bring companies to the market, have had a very checkered past on uh acquisition and bringing companies to the market and they mostly always cause investors to lose money 